Hello and welcome to PH Dear Diary. I almost forgot the name of this. Um, my name is Andy Solkeld and this is my video blog and diary during the time of doing a PhD at Leeds Beckett University. So not much has happened this week. We'll get that out of the way. Um, I was away last weekend. It was a three day week because we have two bank holidays um, in uh, because of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I've been preparing for my work outside of the PhD and just generally nothing seemed to go right. I was extremely tired from last weekend and yeah, not much happened. But I think it's important to still recognize these things and well, particularly for this, to maintain the, um, the kind of natural recording once a week, make sure everything's documented, because these things happen in life. Um, life does happen, life does get in the way, and particularly with what I'm doing, where I'm trying to juggle two to three different things as well as doing a PhD, means that it is quite uh, challenging, and that sometimes things don't just line up exactly the way you plan them out. Now, Last week, I told you about when I met with one of my friends who agreed to be involved with kind of helping me uh, do the PhD, so getting their company involved, uh, their finance team, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and that was great. Not much kind of happened has gone on from there. Uh, I will be sending over kind of everything on Monday uh, once I've kind of got back up to speed with everything. And then I was away at what was the Goonhammer Open, the tournament I was going to that I'd been preparing for for three months, give or take. And that went really, really well. Um, much better than I, one, expected, and two, kind of um, set my ambitions for. And this is something very key in a lot of things understanding that you can have different levels of goals for things you can have what you expect so this is if in the law of averages the expected value what do you think will happen um and that is and for me that was i won one game out of six then there's the what's the ambition what are you pushing yourself towards and that's the and for me that was i want to win three three um, so three wins, three losses, um, and I beat both of those. I went 4-2, uh, and I won best Imperium uh, with my Adeptus Sororitas. And that was kind of a huge confidence boost, because when we've been playing for three months, just practicing for an event, you can never really judge where you are amongst others you can only judge where you are amongst your peers and so on so i didn't quite know what was what the rest of the field was like um and what other players were like it was why i went to the rtt the week before uh, where i came second uh, and that helped give me some confidence um i was like after i'd gone to that i was like okay maybe three three is a reasonable goal um but i was still setting my bar low because I didn't want to underperform and we got there and it was a fantastic event really well organized if you go to my blog um, I wrote probably about 14 15 words uh, 14 15 pages in word and that's now a blog uh, that describes it in detail what I thought about what my experience was um, the people I met the interactions I had what I learned, everything like that. So it's quite a, it's a full retrospective of the event. And I've shared that around various communities. I believe it might even be being shared on Goonhammer itself, um, which is kind of a website uh, content machine for various, um, for various things in kind of Warhammer magic, other mini wargaming stuff, which is, fantastic as well bit of a surprise shows that i can still create content that people engage with which is good and i even got to walk away with a little trophy um 
which again was really nice. It was a really good weekend, but exceptionally tiring. And that kind of hit me really hard on the Monday and the Tuesday uh, following. And I think it's important to recognize that, that when we are working, particularly on something like a PhD that spans three and four years, it's important, one, to rest um, and to actually take breaks and to, two, let, like, let your body respond how your body needs to respond and so on. I was exhausted and I needed sleep and I slept and so on. And I am left now with a feeling of guilt, feeling like I haven't done anything. But at the same point, I have done things relating to other projects and other bits of work that I'm working on. And that felt pretty like it's a fine balancing act, but there is a level of guilt that is in me that I am not comfortable with, which means that I need to kind of work hard, catch up, do where I was, or get back to where I was and should be, and then just carry on as normal. But it was necessary at the time. And I think this is something many people find very hard to do is to actually just stop and to just kind of think, oh, you know what? I just need a break. And as someone who hasn't really taken proper holidays in a while, it was so nice to just put this project to one side for a week and to say, you know what? I'm not going to think about it for a week because I have to think about these other things instead. Um, and that's about it, really. There's not much else to share. Um, I'm, I've written up most of my study now, which is great. Um, so my first kind of write-up is it's getting there. It's all slowly but surely typing everything in. It just takes time more than anything. But I am getting on with that. Um, then... Once that's done, it goes through a couple of round of reviews. I'll be trying to get my ethics approval through by the end of this month and then get it kind of launched and paid for by, say, the end of July. So it's going to be a fairly busy couple of weeks, but it's going to be a couple of months, but it's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm trying to slow down a bit on playing Warhammer and things like that. I just want to enjoy time and other things for now um so this one is going to be short um so i am mostly just enjoying the hobbying side of things so actually b building painting etc i'm going to go see one of my uh best friends uh called toby tomorrow see him and his family we're going to bake pizza and play pandemic legacy zero so i'm really excited for that and then I'm seeing some friends again on Sunday and just trying to have a... Oh, and I'm going out tonight um, for a friend's birthday. So very, very busy. Well, very busy, but I am an extrovert, so I get my energy from being around people. And this is... Um, for me, this is restful, even though it sounds like I am busy uh, all the time. And that's really it. Um, there isn't much else to report about, but as I say, these are, for this to have meaning, for PhD Diary to have meaning, there has to be the boring stuff as well as the progressive stuff. So as well as me learning, there has to be me learning about myself and so on. And this is one of those moments where I am just learning more about me and how I need to do these things. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we are. And I won't keep you for much longer, but I just wanted to make sure that I did record this and that it was up and available for anyone that was interested to see what's been going on, how things are, and the way things are progressing. So thank you very much for tuning in. And I will hopefully have more to say to you next week. Thank you very much.